Steamboat Geyser, world's tallest, erupts for a second time in 2025. Monday's eruption at Yellowstone's Steamboat Geyser was the second of 2025 and suggests that the world's tallest active geyser may be erupting more frequently. It sometimes erupts every few years, and it appears to be becoming more consistent. Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest active geyser, erupted at 11.05 a.m. Monday in Yellowstone National Park. This eruption in particular touched deep into... satisfied person. My heart is full. My cup is overflowing. In all its glory. Both vents opened up. The water was going at least three... The eruption was its second of 2025 and came 69 days after its last eruption on February 3rd. After a particularly active period, with more than 20 eruptions per year between 2018 and 2021, Steamboat's eruption frequency has been steadily declining for the past four years. Scientists believe the geyser is slowly entering an extended period of dormancy, as it has in the past. Except, it isn't. Or, at least, it doesn't appear to be. Steamboat Geyser may take longer than usual to die down, or it may be about to reveal its new normal to visitors and scientists. There's no way to predict what normal is for a geyser, said Mike Poland, the scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. Steamboat seems to be dying down, but its activity has remained low for the past few years. An eruption every few months may be the norm for Steamboat. Steamboat geyser eruptions can last more than an hour and shoot mineral-rich water more than 400 feet into the air, high enough to splash mud and water onto vehicles parked in nearby parking lots. Its behavior has always been erratic, but scientists have noticed a trend over the past century. Frequent periods of eruption followed by decades of dormancy. The geyser never goes completely dormant, but the periods between eruptions, just a few days during its active periods, can last nearly a decade. A similar pattern was seen in the 1960s and 1980s, when steamboat erupted frequently for short periods before winding down to erupting only once every few years. With the exception of Old Faithful or Lone Star, 
which have been consistent for a long time, many of these geysers can change their behavior in ways that are hard to anticipate, Poland said. Steamboat erupted 32 times in 2018 and 48 times in 2019 and 2020. Since then, the geyser has erupted less frequently each year. 11 in 2022, 9 in 2023, and 6 in 2024. What makes Steamboat's current eruptive period interesting is that its shutdown has taken longer than previous active periods. Eruptions are now less frequent, but the longest gap between eruptions from 2019 to 2025 was just 89 days. That's important to Poland. If Steamboat is entering another extended dormancy, it will likely take some time to subside. I don't think I can say whether this is the new normal with fewer eruptions per year or part of a very slow decline, he said. Oh. <laughs> wow. This is different from previous episodes of Activity, but we don't have a lot of precedent to draw on. Steamboat Geyser sits on the eastern edge of the Norris Geyser Basin, one of the most dynamic hot spring basins in Yellowstone because of its high activity and rapidly changing nature. But there's nothing observed at Norris that suggests Steamboat has changed in the past decade. Everything at Norris is behaving as it always has, Poland said. When Steamboat started to become active in 2018, people were saying that there were big changes happening at Norris, but those changes were only happening at Steamboat. They were affecting that geyser. The other geysers nearby were not changing. Poland calls Ekinis Geyser, which is located just down the road from Steamboat, 